I think people have a longing in Australia and I think generally everywhere to be plugged into stories that connect them to place. I think when we're connected to stories that connect us to place, we're connected to the people, we're connected to the history, we're connected to each other. And I think that's a longing that's here. Sound Trails is an audio app that works on mobile devices and allows people to really dig down into the stories on location. The stories kick up automatically when you're walking around and it's able to, I guess, dig into the community, the stories, the people, the lives, the history, the culture of any one place. And each place has a myriad of stories. Uh, Sound Trails began about three years ago uh, where we were working here in Urala actually and we were doing a community audio project with a digital presence and we, we got really excited about the possibility of actually putting some of the stories that we were recording back out on the street so people could hear it. And we were lucky enough to get some funding through Federal Heritage at that point. We put the project up as a, as a proposition for the Heart of the Community project with the um, Regional Australia Bank and I think people voted for it and I think we got a pretty good response and with their support we were able to then build a platform and to build into that platform a range of uh, the, the first sound trails which were Urala, the Mile Creek, the Massacre site and the small town called Warrialda which is out in Guaida region. When you're there on location and you're hearing the genuine voices in a genuine exchange sharing with you something that comes from a place of trust and intimacy. You don't need to be looking at a screen. The audio and the location do everything. The brain actually rewires. I guess Sound Trails is like a kind of a little, a little time capsule. So without that support for the maintenance for the app, from the Regional Australia Bank, we wouldn't have got this amazing project going or it would have been much harder because we would have had to have placed that cost back onto the shoulders of the communities. I imagine what's going to happen is that the formula that we've got is going to be picked up, it's going to be recognised and we'll probably go interstate soon.